so about 65 degrees ish I need to do this more than once a month this is ridiculous I wouldn't mind doing this for exercise just up and back under the top and back I wouldn't mind doing that once a week this pack's pretty heavy I have about six pounds of uh, bait and then 140 ounces of water some grub So she's not light, she's not super heavy like a overnight couple overnight pack would be. But I'm feeling it. We're getting closer this season, yeah, it's gonna be fine. Hopefully we got those guys on camera and be good. Over and out. Well, we're halfway. It is 66 degrees. It is 7:20, so almost an hour. Started at 6:30. Halfway up. We doing two piles. Two point. 2.08 miles and 45 minutes. Fresh, not bad. Well, there are those cat tracks from last time. But it is pretty crusty. Pretty trusty Pocus Noakes pusher. So, you know, a few couple videos. I can talk about how brush it's in the heavy ground cover. It is amazing to me the difference. It's still, still you know, all the poison oak and stuff like that. You know, some of this stuff. But look at this. The grass is flat out, died off. I mean, it's still thick, like I say, but it is not like it was. It is. I mean, a lot of the poison oak is starting to starting to uh, turn, the leaves are starting to turn, fall off, get eaten off. You know, um, just, it's interesting, it's interesting to see that. Um, yeah, that changes. Um, let's see. It smells good. Um, has a high calcium, has magnesium, phosphorus, uh, potassium, and salt. Uh, a couple other things. Um, it's supposed to create, be good for bones and stuff like that. So I'm trying to trying to put this in now. So late season early next year shed hunting and then it might be coming into this for the calcium to adapt for bone growth for other stuff like that. Um, I'm going to put that out and check the cameras. Um, see what we got. Now this is so but I kind of want to see what the reaction is. Smell to it, kind of. 
kind of. The last bag I put out, the smell got stronger and stronger as it, as it was out open. So, check that camera. It's all back together. Down my big and jig light. Mixed it in right there. And then put it on top and put a log on the back side. We're all locked up. Camera. That camera, I changed batteries on it. And we're good to go. We didn't have the bucks on there but I had a lot more doe activity younger deer activity um, which you know it's fun to see those bucks grow and those antlers but come late season as long as I got the does coming in bucks are gonna fall doesn't matter they'll come in so keeping that in mind and Gonna check the other camera and see if it has maybe some different pictures the other one didn't catch. Well, I'm doing something a little different and you know, find a new area, look at new stuff, and uh, I just found me out there. It's back there. How are you doing? Well, that was encouraging. It is a hot, hot, no fun. I ran out of my ounces in my bladder, put my 40 reserve in. And I'm running on that, hoping I can get to the truck and get the other stuff. It is hot. But it was pretty cool right there. That was nice. Hey, well, we made it back. Uh, I drank all my water. This a little bit. Um, oh, it's hot. Started out at 6:30. Um, I think it's running noon, 12:30, 12:45. Uh, didn't get the bucks on the camera, but got some bears and some other stuff. And I, I feel there's a lot more movement, a lot more sign around there, a lot more does coming in. Um, you know, and pull this out. You have to see. Um, you know, some new territory. So all in all, I think it went well. And we'll see you next time.